Hey everybody, welcome to my studio. I'm hanging out with uh, the multi-talented Chris Bradley. And today we are, uh, well we have a treat for you. We are going to write and record in its entirety. You're gonna see the entire process. We're gonna write and record a song that is ideal for sync. That is the goal. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you ever watched Bob Ross's um, what was it called? The Joy of Painting? This is going to be like The Joy of Painting on steroids. It'll probably yeah. be a little longer than a half hour, but uh, but we're going to show you the entire process of recording um, literally from scratch and coming up with the ideas and putting it together and really how simple that process can be. And before you click off, you go, well, I can't, I can't do this because I don't have a studio and I don't have all the gear. Let me show you what we're going to use because Chris brought her computer over. We're actually using none of my gear. Uh, we're actually using a very simple setup that just simply involves a Mac laptop. Come on and I'll show you. We are using Chris's Mac laptop. She has Logic in it. Logic is her program of choice and she's gonna be running the board today. We're using a very cheap interface. This is actually the interface that I've, I've traveled with um, pretty heavily and recorded a lot with. It's a propeller head balance interface. And for those audiophiles who are like, oh, that thing's a piece of crap. Uh, if you ever watched the Discovery Channel's um, Harley and the Davidsons miniseries, I did uh, all the guitars uh, when I was in China <laughs> um, for the course of a month uh, using this uh, little guy. Um, we are using a microphone. Uh, we'll probably do some uh, vocals a little later. So we're going to use a microphone that's going into channel one. And then uh, I'm using a Kemper uh, profiling amp, which I love. Uh, we're just going to go from the guitar directly into the profiling amp. That's going into channel two. Okay. And then uh, for any type of programming or drum beats or anything like that, uh, we're going to use my Nectar Panorama P4. And that's simply plugged into um, her computer via USB. So the interface is USB and the Nectar Panorama is USB. And that is as simple as it is. You can buy yourself uh, one of those things used for like $120 and... You probably already have a computer because you're watching this on a computer. And uh, and then what Logic is $199. Yeah. So you can get started and into this system for, you know, roughly, what is that, you know, less than $350 until you start factoring in, you know, your microphone and your cables and whatnot. So it's an extremely, extremely uh, cost, uh, cost effective and affordable system. So let's just dive right on in. Yeah. <laughs> What, what are you in the mood for? Um, I think we were talking about doing something fun and upbeat, yeah. shocking yeah, 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 for yeah. sync, right? Yeah. Um, something in the pop rock kind of HG and okay. TV. HG TV kinda, stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I think I think we should probably definitely think more like uh, even like commercial tempos. So uh, uh, generally, when, whenever I'm doing commercials uh, or something along that line, because we're gonna try and plow through this pretty quickly. <laughs> um, uh, generally, like 135 to 140 is where I start. Okay. Uh, I've noticed just that most commercials are around that tempo. So cool. if you want to grab one of those tempos, we'll just start there. Awesome. And, uh, I'm going to start us off with a drum groove. Okay. And what is a tempo? So oh, I'm already at 140. Oh, it was, 140. Uh, okay. it was set there by default. It was meant to be. Ooh, perfect. All right. Well, I'm going to set my, I'm going to set my global tempo here. Cool. And I'm just going to put us on loop, and then we'll just tweak accordingly until we find something that feels good. All right. 140. Boom. There we go. I'm just dialing in a, a a tempo in my unit, so whenever my delays, you know, if I set my delays to quarter notes or eighth notes, they're all going to be in time. So cool. Let's, let's hear what you got. And here, let me uh, make sure you're enabled. Well. Oh yeah, I gotta come off my tuner. That's my bad. Okay. Here we are. All right, let's see where we're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's definitely say something that's more straight. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. The ACDC, you know? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, let me just 
just bring this up a little bit. So the cool thing about Logic Drummer is you can actually just tweak this little middle knob right here and it's going to change the dynamics and the complexity based on how far up and down and left and right you go. So you kind of just tweak it till it feels right and play with the fill knob. So, boom, yeah. Oh, sorry. Look. Sorry, I'll catch cool. okay. two, three, four. That's fine, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that feels good. Cool. And so, so like, let's let's think of that more like a that can be more like an A section. Okay. You know? So um uh, how long do you think we should go on the A section? Like four bars or eight bars? Well god, I don't know. Uh, let's just play it a bunch of times, we'll figure it okay, out. Okay, cool. <laughs> However long that first one was, I say we double it, right? Right. The, the, so that would be like an a. so that would be like an a section right. so whatever that was and then i'd say what we do is we start with two of those cool okay and what we'll do is we'll build it up incrementally and then we'll go into like a, a b section cool. so we'll do like an a section and a b section then we'll jump back to that a section and cool. um tell you what this, i'm gonna loop this all the way so we can okay. play it through and see what feels right and then we'll go through and we'll kind of arrange from there yeah sound good yeah, right. let's make it happen. Let's do it. Yeah, it'd be like. Yeah, then we'll have to do something else. Cool. So that's gonna be. That'd be like a, going into a B section there, yeah, and then you can start. Um... Color coding is my friend, my friend. So more like diamonds and like big open or just like open chords yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, so I'm just doing A to E to B. So um, let's see. Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. And I'm gonna open these drums up and put some cymbals in yeah, and yeah. raise the loudness and complexity a little bit so it feels more like a B or a chorus section. All right. What if we like push a couple things in there? So it'd be like a... Oh yeah yeah. So we down and we push every other time. Oh yeah. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So let's do that, and then we'll come back to like an A section. Okay. We'll do it half as long as we did at the intro. So how long how the long Nash, were those? Nash half? Yeah, how long were those? Um, Everything right now is like an A bar. So, yeah, so each H, each A section is four bars. Okay, so so um, so we're doing two A's, then a B. Mm -hmm. um, so one, two, three, four. So the B section will be four, will be eight bars. Mm -hmm. We'll go back to an A section, which will be four bars. Mm -hmm. Then back it to the B section. B section, yeah. And then we'll double that. Double, done. And then just out of curiosity, we'll outro and see where we're at time wise. Yeah, how, where are we at time wise? One fifteen by the end of the double eight bar course. So then let's do like an eight bar. Uh, let's do let's do the A section. And then we'll just uh, we'll do the A section um, one time, and then we'll just dime in the outro. So, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and that'll probably take us yeah. like one thirty ish or something around there. So you know, if we're doing kind of like a commercial kind of track, oh. you know, we can keep it. Uh, that's perfect. It's at one twenty nine. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's really good. Uh, it would still have to be. Well, actually, after. Like, after the like the, it rings out, it's gonna go a little over one thirty. But yeah, yeah. 
Uh, let's do that actually. So we'll, we'll ring out on the A. Two, three, four, one, two, three, can do that. Cool. And I'll punch that part in on drums. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> cool. It's, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's, let's see what this is. What do you think about the guitar sound on that one? I mean, it's just kind of. Maybe a little too just. I mean, it's got a little bit of grit in there, but maybe I'll clean it up a touch. It's it's pretty like uh, kind of pokes out, but we'll probably we'll, we'll do some layer stuff some around. stuff yeah, yeah. and it'll come out. Yeah. All right. So you want to come in on the uh, the B section, the first one? Uh, you know what? Just give it to me from the top from and the top? and uh, sure. And maybe you maybe um, I don't know. Maybe start playing with the drums a bit. Um, yeah, I can't actually do that while we're recording. Yeah. I can tweak other things that I can't change the drumming, but okay. I'll do it right after. Ready? Yeah. weird yeah it's all right we'll punch it in um okay. i had this at a four bars where when we were talking from before okay. and then you did it for eight bars so it threw my my drum oh, arrangement maybe off maybe i did that's it okay okay um i got it it's okay i made a mistake in that too so that should have actually <laughs> two fours there no problem Course and then that's the thing with the logic drummer is when it gets thrown off like by time it'll uh, it'll switch up the patterns and it gets a little funky. Let's punch okay, yeah, yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll take the last uh, four bars out. Okay. And there's there's a click going in there still, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Cool. That's fine. Yeah. And uh, let's, uh, let's maybe look at some bass. Yeah. Software instrument. I'm gonna go for Logic Bass. Let's just check out like the finger style. That sounds interesting. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do a little cheater thing here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm not much of a keys player, so put oh, everything okay. in C so you get to hit the light <laughs> keys. So then it would be a down three semitones. Da 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 That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, maybe not right off the top though. So driving, just coming in like bum, ba uh, bum, yeah, ba bum, until we get like maybe to the first B section. Uh, um, what do you think? Maybe, 
maybe the first A section you kind of come in more sparse, but then the second A section that repeat maybe that mm. becomes more. Start bringing it in. Pulsing. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and then open it back up in the in the B section, like the yeah. Because I think in the B section we'll start mm. adding in some distorted guitars and yeah. kind of thicken that up. What's with the uh, vibrato? Yeah, it on feels there? a little. Oh, you know what? I bet I hit the. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The mod wheel. <laughs> the mod wheel. Let's try that. So you heard that, right? Yeah, didn't sound like it didn't sound right. <laughs> you hear that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, maybe take off the trance. Take no, off that, the. That absolutely 100 percent works maybe, all the time maybe um, um so hold on maybe just... what's happening is maybe because your phone yeah. is on the button up there yeah it's throwing it off yeah okay we're gonna do that one again yeah that's right. it must have been my phone yes <laughs> of course of course Transposer was working fine. If I have to play this in A, it won't be the end of the world, but I'm gonna try this one more time. Yeah, yeah, A, E, V. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. Like that, I'll fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's get into there real quick. Okay, so I heard something in there. It's yeah. it's a, it's the G sharp going to the A. Um, I think it was before. It doesn't matter. We'll come back to it. Okay. Yeah. What were you thinking? I heard something earlier, and it just might be my ear um, hearing something weird. Um, there was one weird thing, but I, I just might not be used to it yet. All right. So let's see. We can go here. We can actually do that right now, right? Mm -hmm. That, that, that was the weird note. There it is, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that one ba, right there. Yeah, what is that? that what is that? Ba, is that a ba. C? Ba, da, da, bum, bum. It, it would be a C sharp. Is that playing a C or is that transpose? Where am I? Bum, bum. Oh, that would be a better right. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Cool. So I'll do the same thing for that. I'll just play that back over there. Cool. All right. And then we'll get our little outro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's, right, that's right. Good. Okay. And then, -da -da. and then we're gonna end on the A with a sus. Uh, 
Pop that one in anywhere. Pop that bad boy in there. Yeah, that way you have a suspend, sustained yeah. ending. And then just a hard hit. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Let's, cool. um, you know what? Uh, let's, let's just throw some guitars on the chorus. Yeah. And I'm going to... Um, I have a Dumble guitar in here that I love that by itself does not sound good. <laughs> um, but when it's mixed in a track, it actually just thickens things up really nice. Oh, yeah. So Delay on that. All right. Um, it's a little fuzzy, but but it sits under there. That'd be a nice really, layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, let me let me build into the chorus maybe. Like um, sure. So let me see. I'm doing. Uh, Do you want me to throw those like on the drums so that or do you want me to do that after the fact? Oh yeah yeah if you oh, want to um let's do that build into that that'd be cool. Yeah so cool. This drum kit. So cool. So that would be Yeah 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 okay that's what we'll do under that. Go here. <clears throat> Kind of something like that. You can also use the pads up there if you'd like. Cool. Um, so we'd be like... Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to stay right here because it's comfy. Uh-oh. More running room. And not on guitar. Let me get down here. Okay. <laughs> this feels a little weird. Hold on. Yeah. Let me turn down the volume so I can hear everything. There we go. Yeah. Ah. All right, and let me get in here and mess with that velocity really quick so it really raises. See, this is one of the cool things about actually having your own rig in your in your house is that you know you can uh, you can take the time and experiment and go back and forth and now like we're really experimenting at the moment we're kind of just plowing through some ideas but um, you know you can take the time to to get it right and really so far we've done nothing that's complicated all we've done is arm tracks and hit record <laughs> yeah and then arm a MIDI track and you know play the notes. You know, nothing's nothing's been complicated. You can learn how to do any of this stuff in, you know, ten minutes. One hundred percent, especially yeah. in Logic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, user friendly. Okay, okay. Well, more dialed in and mixing. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the first couple of hits could probably come a little lower in the velocity, but but come, that's okay. Come for down now. a little bit. Maybe just a touch, but. Um, okay. Cool. But um. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All better? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'll just build in. I'll bring you in at the top of the a second A section. Or... Okay. You can give me just like a, like a bar in front of that. It's... Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Um, give me uh, yeah, give me the second chorus. I kind of like the melody you were doing though. Um, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Cool. Second chorus. Yeah, I'll just do those and and uh, we'll see what happens at the end. We'll, okay. we'll make it up as we go. Okay, okay, <laughs> I like it. Oh, you know what we need to do is we need to fly that. You need to fill. fly that. Yeah. Fly the fill. Sure. So um, I was kind of messing with an idea. Uh, we'll have to just delete the um, that A section. We can get rid of those guitars, but like. Uh, I'll probably do something with a different sound. Yeah, maybe I'll do something with a different sound. So we can just delete whatever <laughs> that madness was. Um, in, in, the, yeah, in, that uh, a in section. the end? Yeah, yeah. Just get rid of whatever those guitars were. That was just me. All right. With an idea. So you want to grab that outro A section? Um, I'm going to do it with a different guitar. Okay, cool, cool. But you can keep the, the hit, the, the, um, the suspended ending and the um, diamond. Oh. oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, that part. Perfect, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. And um, let's um, let's see. Maybe we need to change the drum groove or something like that yeah, in the chorus and kind of maybe bring in, in some. Let's see. see. Oh. Change the groove. <laughs> what do you think about this film? Uh, I think there, it? we could try and see what else is there for sure. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Oh, you like that I kinda, one? I kind of didn't mind that. Uh, not that one. Yeah. That's the thing about these yeah. fills, is it? Hold on, let me find it. I can see it visually, the wave changes. Yeah, something just simple. Simple. Yeah. I mean, I like Rush and pr Prague Rock, but, you know. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so I will also put that here. Okay. Oops. Grab you, slippery. Okay. It's amazing how fast you can uh, change this stuff in there. I know. All righty. Um, um, you know what? Uh, I kind of want to do a... Um, let me let me throw a different guitar melody idea thing going on in that second verse A section thing, mm -hmm. and then let's go back and maybe let's like readdress some, um, like maybe we can find some place to. I feel like we need to bring in some kind of extra percussive thing, like maybe like a tambourine or for sure hand clap or something like that. Yeah, maybe like some snaps or like some tambo hits or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to do the guitar and this one? 
Uh, after the first chorus. After, okay. So, uh, it's funny, I just went back one, and I have this really nasty sounding one. Um, <laughs> it's called drive Through Speaker. I love it. <laughs> oh, I like that, um, I like that. Let's do it. It just might be something weird, and... Um, me maybe just kind of get it to poke through a little bit more. Let me check these drums out real quick before we do that part. Yeah, I'm gonna bring those down. Cool. All right. Well, actually, you know what? Um, uh, play that again. I might do something different. Actually. Okay. I'll give you the other option. You can choose between the two. Okay. So one would be hit it again. Ah. That. Yeah. Um. That actually like, might be kind of. Is that? That's not what the bass is doing, right? Kind of. It is. Yeah. I like the first one. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty close. Yeah. All right. Let's try that idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, let's do it again. Mm -hmm. So one, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I dig it. That's pretty funny. I'm going to call that drive-through. Drive-through speaker? Spiker. Um, do we want to maybe, uh, you know, we can always, it doesn't matter. We can always copy and paste that to the end if we want to do that again, because that would be, that wouldn't change. Mm -mm. Cool. So, um, yeah, I think you, this would be a good space in this, like, second A section, this, like, kind of, I'll call it the verse section, to add maybe some percussion, maybe, like, tambourine or like snaps or shaker yeah. what, do you, what do you think well uh <laughs> throw in a, let's hear some snaps what the heck some snaps okay yeah. let's, i like to check out the uh, the loop section for snaps and see what they got okay oh those are cool okay okay <laughs> done and they have a they have a, a um, yeah like that flammy kind of they have snap. a flam though flam so snap. That, yeah that might be um cool so I will pull this up and just get this on hey, okay yeah. maybe not I don't know it might be a little too uh, burby <laughs> wow. wow okay wait but they don't sound like that. The snaps. Oh, I think I pulled in a different one. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> I want it there, though. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. So I'm I see what it. you're saying. Yeah, I'll move the to Slide that around a little bit. Hey, yo. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm a fan. I like it. Or should we have it every every time? Mm, got, got. Oh, Two. it's up to you. Let's see. And this is the second verse, right? So yeah. maybe, it kind of feels like I want to hear it yeah, every time. To, right? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It might be even cool to to layer a tambourine under that too. Yeah. Oh, hey, I have a funny idea. Let's just get that I in. It. But it might be kind of cool um, to have snaps on, on, tambourine on all of them, but snaps on every other one. Ooh, okay, let that, me get in there That real might quick be a fun that. idea That's too. Cool. Uh, so let's see. That's my drummer that I can record.
should be a tambo in there. There we okay. go. So where are you thinking? Uh, well, let me just, just put it in there. I think this. I think the tambourine might be on everyone. I don't know. Have, oh, I see. You I know see. what I'm saying? Like, it might be cool to have one of them on everyone, and then, like, let's say you put just put the tambourine on everyone. Okay. And then, um, uh, I might be overthinking it. It might be cool to do like one, two, three, tambo. That might be cool too. Tambo. That might be cool. So it'd just be like every other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so it is every other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, the joys of editing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're running the system. Uh, so, why is it doing a weird cymbal hit? What's that? Feels like the symbol has a phaser on it. It does sound like a little phasey. Oh, you know why? Because it's got a double drum under it. Oh, okay. I'll mute that. My bad. Yeah. And we'll... it would be cool is to have like a nice reverb on that tambourine, you know, totally. just like a nice, yeah. Totally. Um, I'm right up there with you. Let me come right a little bit. put that verb like directly on the track too cool. so it just kind of like kind of washes away Let's see chroma Too. All right, well, that sounds good. That. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. There's like, there's something there. There's a little melody there. I hear it. Um. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. So, like. One more time. <laughs> that's like that's like a Cheerios commercial, right? I just went out of tune a little bit. Um, Always tune in between takes, right? Alright. <laughs> Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's grab that. All right. right at the top. Um, so, oh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, okay, we can do it at the top. Maybe maybe we should wait at least one time around before we come in with it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. M maybe. All right. I'll bring you in on the second half then, so that's where you're coming in. Well, um, no, just, just start at the top. Just okay. start at the top, and, I'll, and, and we'll see what happens. We'll from. see what happens. Okay. So how many again? Okay. Well, oh, I hear the piano part. <laughs> I hear the piano part now. Yeah. It's like a counter melody to what you're doing. Okay, cool. I don't hear it. I remember that. A. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's badass. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So are there like delay on yeah. or something? Yeah. It probably needs to go one more time. Oh, you're just going to copy and paste it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we could. Copy and paste it. Copy paste. Mm -hmm. Let's see delay on there. What's that doing? Cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, one of the things here is, um, I know it's probably the same with you. You have certain sounds that you gravitate to back and forth. Um, I've been using a Kemper profiling amp since 2011. Um, actually, before they were even released uh, to the public. And um, so, yeah, since January of 2011. So I've been using one for a long time. And and I've kind of dialed in my sounds over the years. And there's just a handful of sounds that I go back to over and over and over and over. And mm -hmm. this particular sound is an old Fender Vibroverb, a 67 Vibroverb that um, I use on so many things. It's, it's crisp. It's clean. And, uh, and you can, you know, gain it up. You can gain it back. It's just a, it just cuts through really nicely. And so um, for, for clean sounds or just slightly distorted sounds, that's one that I always just like to go back too, and it saves time from having to, you know, futz around and, and find sounds because you can do that for days. So uh, I usually have, that's on pretty much everything. Every single track that I've done <laughs> for the most part since, I'd say at least the last like six or seven years, I've used that sound on at some point, um, even if it's somewhere way in the back, washed out and reverb because it just, uh, it, it cuts through really nicely. And then there are a couple uh, distorted sounds that I use over and over and over again because they cut through real nice. That that dumble sound, that little distorted sound that we used in the um, chorus, you know, in and of itself, it does not sound good. We're going to layer some stuff on top of it still. Uh, but it, the thing I've learned with that sound is it creates this nice low frequency, just this one mono guitar tone sits sits back really nice and then generally I'll, I'll I'll do two other parts in stereo around it um, using a different sound and, and it creates a nice full but very smooth uh, sound so um, so I'm not just you know randomly finding sounds I'm going to the sounds that I've used for a long time that I know work over and over and I'm just comfortable using and it's probably the same thing with you know it, at some point you get to know which piano sounds you like and yeah you know hundred percent yeah and I and I end up saving things too so that I can just get to them for quick, yeah, yeah, quicker yeah. access like templates and stuff you know because you yeah. kind of know what your your sound is and yeah. stuff what tools yeah. you like to oh, use yeah. do we want to copy that into uh um the second verse yeah yeah good idea so I think that would go. Maybe bring it in there. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, and you know what? That 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 guitar part, that l initial melody guitar part, probably needs to go back in there too. Which guitar part? Um, that thing that we were doing in the first verse. The. Oh yeah, yeah. Got it. Fly that too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. And that comes in mm. on the same. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. I think that should come right after the hook of the, or right after the. Hook. Right? Yeah. And um, What's that? do we probably want to have like the, the, the claps and the snaps in there or, or do we have them in there? Oh, we, we have do. them in there. We can turn them up. Oh, now I hear them. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Second time around, though. Yeah, okay. That's what it was. Yeah, I was like, man, something's missing. Something is missing. There we go. And then, and then uh, yeah, so we should take everything out right there. So, okay. Right? Like, sure. Let's see. Did we do it the first time? Or at least the, the other, right? I would actually take the piano out there too. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be weird. Whoa. All right. 
I don't know. What are you thinking? I hear, um, I hear a melody and actually kind of like a lyrical idea. Okay. Something. Oh yeah, we haven't really just the the chorus yet. Yeah, let's yeah, look at the chorus. but like yeah, you yeah. know, if we're thinking like commercial and stuff, you yeah, know, yeah. something like. Don't laugh. It's a little negative. Yeah. <laughs> like. Oh oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh oh, tell me what you're waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, perfect. Come on, let's go. Very yeah. syncable. I love it. Yeah, should let's I lay that it. down real quick? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. let's do that. And then, um, and then um, actually, you know that come on, let's go part. Um, come on, let's go. You know, that might be a cool thing to do also at the end. Yeah. Let me see where this, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, let me just make sure it's not too loud on my headphones. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cool. Would you Let like me for me to hit the record button? For sure. You? you could just press R. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hey, hey, how's my level over there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, it's, it's fine for me. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. Oh oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. All right, can Very you nice. do uh, Apple D? Apple D. And then just mute that first one and let me grab that yeah. again. <clears throat> Try to not crack this top. Okay. Thanks. You can give me a little less rolling room. like just A little less? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Is the up track muted? Uh, the first one muted? Yeah. Oh, you want it completely muted? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. And then maybe I can double that. All righty then. Perfect. You want to hear it? No, it's okay. You can just pull it down a little bit so okay. it's not in my headphone too much. All right. Perfect. All right, here you go. Thanks. Oops, that was Oops. my bad. <laughs> <clears throat> oh oh tell me what you waiting for oh oh come on let's go oh oh tell me what you waiting for oh oh come on let's go i'll grab one more of those and then i'll throw a harm on it oh right on put a harm on it <laughs> all right so you want that back too yes please all right I'll pull thank them you, both back you. a bit so you want to so listen to them. So if you click them. at the top of the course or one bar before it, it'll get, it'll pre-roll me. There, there you go. Perfect. Yes. Oh oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. Alrighty. I'll fly the second half of that. The second yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. then um. Want to throw a harmony on that one? Yes, please. Alrighty. Can you turn up the vocal of the one I'm tracking on? You could just uh, control click and it'll go to Unity. Control, click. Mm -hmm. With the mouse. Okay. Or option click, I think. There you go. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I see what it did. I see what you did. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. And then I'll double that, that. Was that peeking in your nope, ears at all? Was oh, better. wasn't that? Okay. Yeah. I ain't listening. I'm just trusting you. That was better. All right. I'm going to pull the, these back a bit. Perfect. And I think you have, there's so many going on here that I'm, I'm going to pull a bunch of them back. Just so that they idea. don't peek in your, in your ears. Totally. 
All right. Thank you, thank you. And I'll grab one more. <clears throat> oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Very nice. All right. Anything else? I think that's good for now. Okay. We could revisit. All right. If we need to. But just to get right. the idea down. Okay. And I'll oh. let you do your thing. Cool, cool. And I didn't hear any of it, so I'm just going to trust that it's really good. <laughs> we'll see. I always love when I've been running on coffee all day, and I'm like, oh, I have to sing yeah. right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's go up here. And we will yeah, let's just watch those levels because they may be screaming. So you have three uh, unison tracks and then three harmonies. Is that what we did? I did. Okay. Uh, lead, lead. Three. Oh, no, two harms. Oh, two harmonies. Harm, oh, okay. And then harm double. Okay. And then one of them, yeah, one of them you muted. I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm go here and I'm do a little panning to widen and then I'm gonna put my harmonies a little over there and there. Alright. And you were playing something cool on the guitar. I don't know what I was playing. It was like like Lower. Uh, I have no idea what I was doing. I, re cool. I remember it was very ear candy-ish. Hold on one sec. It evokes. Okay, let's just move those right now. All right, you plugged in? Uh, yeah. Cool. I got some nice delay happening. It was like... Um, um, This one, so like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like no, this. That's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> where, where are we doing that? Um. <clears throat> I mean, it could go anywhere, really, since the progression's going across. But um, maybe so we that, try it like a. You're playing like an like an E to a I don't know something else to like a B. Uh, yeah. Um. I'm gonna grab it like just at the top, and we can kind of put it wherever we want. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Two bars. I <laughs> uh, just, just, just also take the do, other do stuff it a couple times. Let me hear what you're thinking. Cause, oh yeah, yeah. Because um, I'll, I'll like sing it too. So. Okay. It was like. like a U2 type delay on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah! Um, okay. Maybe with uh, some mute, though, and some delay. Like, okay. bop, 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 bop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that might even be a cool... Once you said the U2 thing, I think I know where you're going with that. <laughs> Might be a cool so, thing to do in the uh, just like even in the final chorus at the second half yeah. of the double chorus. Yeah. So like um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that like all guitar delay is just U two, right? <laughs> well, once once someone says U two, it's like, like you ah. go to the you go to the uh, the dotted eighth note and. Uh, <laughs> yep. Okay. 
Yeah, let's I do see it what you're doing. Okay, let me just practice it. Let me just kind of sure. dial in the sound because that might not be it. And who knows? Um, um, then, yeah, that's cool. I like that. I love these types of delay things because I think they really propel yeah. a track along. So, where we are we doing it from the top or are we doing it? I think it would be cool to whatever? put in the second half of the B section, like right towards the end, because it'll add like this new like thing to like the second time. It's like, whoa, oh, tell me, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's try it. Because there's a lot going on. I, when we started to track it, I was like, yeah. oh, shit, we have that. that. Yeah. This is a family show. Sorry. Okay? <laughs> you see what Come on, seriously. I was like, oh, yeah, man, we, we already had, like, a guitar. Out. We had a guitar hook, and we had a piano hook already, so it felt like it was too busy over there. Um, but that, sure. yeah, feels like it'll go there. Yeah, let's see. Two let's bars see. in. Okay. Yeah. Can you turn it up? Just the, uh, just the overall... You just turn it up, turn it up in your room. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right. Let's actually do that from the top, maybe. Okay. I know it's weird. No, it's fine. But, I'm going to mute can, the other stuff can... so it's not in your way. No, no, no. No, keep it. Keep it there. Yeah. Because it, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to play to it and see what that sounds like. Okay. But um, but I guess I maybe we were on a different plane. But that's a cool like first thing. Okay. Oh yeah and yeah then, yeah okay I see what you're saying. And you you, you were starting at the I don't know whatever I I thought I was hearing it in that chorus thing. But okay let's let's, let's do take it from, it from the, the top, top and we can put it and where then we want. um and then maybe uh when it comes to the chorus maybe I'll, I'll figure something else out. But um, all right sounds good. Because if nothing else, that might just add like another layer, even going into that second A section, almost like a loop. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I dig know. it. You can mute it and take it out wherever, but we'll we'll do it from the top. I dig it. One bar in. Two, three, four. Kind of neat. I have no idea <laughs> like what that was, but love That that first chorus was a mess, but uh, you could probably take I actually could that from the second. second chorus yeah. and um, pop that in. And I feel um, like we could maybe grab the end of this too, because like it was like super tight, and then like right yeah, around no, here no, we no, started no, to no, drop no, it. No, yeah, Can yeah, we punch yeah. that in? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. You'll hear yourself. You can play along. Oh, okay. hi. There we go. Uh, you know what? Um, can you just get me that very last uh, hit? Uh -huh. And I'm just going to take the delay off and we'll just yeah, hit that. Call. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'll suck. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, you know what I'm going to do first? 
That, that, was, that was fine. That, I think yeah. as a whole, let's just grab. Yeah, let's grab that. Um, get rid of that course and. But, well, that yeah, that first course I was just futzing around in there. So. Okay. Cool. Um, Actually, I think the, you know, the first before we get into anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly quantize this. What do you think, like eighth notes? I think I played it perfectly, so I don't think so. Obviously. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> just to want. tighten it up, especially with those yeah, delays, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, you do what you want. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get in here and do this edit really quick, and then we'll go like this. I think at this point, I think we can kind of call it, I would really start getting into the mixing point now. Yeah, let's do it. And um, <clears throat> Yeah. Hmm. Did that work? Uh, oh, did you do eighth notes? It's dotted eighth notes. Dotted? Yeah, it's a rhythmic dotted eighth note. Okay, it wasn't analyzing the notes. Okay. Yeah. If you do eighth notes, that'll sound really funny. So it would be, um, um well, like, um, I think, it, yeah, dotted eighth note. Just do eighth notes. It's, well, a sixteenth note. Do a sixteenth note, maybe. I don't know. Try it and see what works. <laughs> so many things. <laughs> um, it's actually not analyzing it right oh, now, really? which is weird. It's sometimes it does that, and I don't know why. Oh well. That's okay. Maybe because I played it so perfectly. That's what it is. It's like, that it was like, what, like why, what are we doing? Why would we even do that? It's ridiculous. That's crazy talk. Um, that's funny. That's fine. I got it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what we need to do? Last thing, we yeah. need to get some big guitars in that chorus. Yeah, big like diamonds, a little bit yeah, more yeah. beef on them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a perfect example of. So I like going to this one uh, sound. <laughs> sound that always uh, and what we'll do is maybe on that one we'll we'll do a double so we'll pan it yep. hard left and hard right like it. and uh, you know what we should we'll probably do is we could probably just do the final chorus and we could probably just cut that final chorus into that uh, second chorus if you want and that, that first chorus or you can oh, grab yeah, both yeah, choruses if you no, want no 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 but... I see what you're saying sorry yeah because it's the grab same it there thing. and we'll grab the first half and put it in the first one exactly gotcha Keep what we want and get rid of what we want. But let's let's double that. Let's do that again. Oh, hi. Let's do that again. Yeah, and um, that'd be a nice yeah. thick sound and. Nice thick sound. All right. Cool. those and pull them back and yes 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 fine. all right awesome i so think i think we're ready like to kind of start getting here. into that mix phase yeah and um it up, make it sound good 
Get it nice and balanced. Yeah. This is where you get to work your magic. Here we are. And I get to go downstairs and watch TV. What? <laughs> So I'm right. just gonna quantize, even though it's totally uh, not necessary. It's absolutely not necessary. Absolutely uh -uh. not. No. <laughs> what What were you saying? What, what is the lyrics? It's It's just wasted lyrics? space. Wasted Wait, space between guitar <laughs> solos. Typical, <laughs> typical guitar player right there. I told that joke to yeah? some of my students the other day in a, in a class, and they were mm -hmm. on the floor. They thought it was hysterical. Hey, it's the truth. <sighs> cool. Cool. All right. So let's listen to this. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it really is amazing. Um, just the the um the technology that comes with with these recording systems now i mean like just being able to quantize that even though it was unnecessary um <laughs> but just being able to quantize that and even even uh, like you know like uh, to be able to tune things and um it's amazing because i think back to you know when i was 16 years old and i got my first four track you know on, onto a cassette tape and uh, it's there's no way you could make it sound good and and what's funny is that four track cost more than the software, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And there was no effects. There was nothing. It was just a, a cassette that you stuck in this little plastic box, and you're able to record yourself. And it's amazing now with what is it? Logic is two hundred bucks. Um, it's amazing that it comes with all of these features, and uh, you can do all this stuff so quickly too. It's insane. Yeah. It used to be so expensive. I mean, think about what somebody yeah. would have paid for, like you know. Some oh. of the outboard gear, reverb plates, you know, stuff where it's like it's a free plug-in now in Logic, and it was like yeah. eighty thousand dollars or something yeah. before, you know? Yeah, like one of those. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, before I, I dial in the mix, I just want to get these drums locked in real quick. Okay. Um, which is part of the mix. Okay, that's cool. awesome. Awesome. So, where is that? I'm gonna do the same compression. You know, one of the cool things also with uh, with these recording systems is a lot of the plugins. You know, they have presets that are are really phenomenal. And you know, and and um, you know, I get I get emails a lot from from people who are, I think, really afraid to start recording. Uh, themselves because they feel like this is a big you know it's a big undertaking i don't know how to mix i don't know how to mix my music you know you know the first thing about eqs or compression and, and that's really okay because a lot of these plugins have these presets that pretty much get you going um and when i mix a track i don't usually start from scratch you know if i'm doing a vocal uh, i'll bring in a, a compressor and I'll, I'll usually go to one of the presets that's geared towards vocals and i always start there Mm -hmm. you know, whoever designed them, you know, they, they knew what they were doing. They, they gave you some really good jumping off points and allows you to just, you know, make some little minute changes and, and then you're done. You know, then you move on to the next uh, next thing. Same thing with, with some of the EQs, you know, they'll they'll come preset with different EQ settings that are ideal for certain instruments. Um, so, again, you're not really always starting from scratch when it comes to, to plugins and, and creating a mix. I don't know how Logic is because I don't use logic but i'm plug, actually setting up a bunch logic. of templ templates right now as we speak without even listening i'm already i'm throwing my produce like a boss pop vocal template oh, yeah? on the vo on the vocals just because okay. i know you know and i'm putting yeah. my uh my produce like a boss eq template on the okay. guitars no i'm like yeah. mixing without even like listening yeah. right now well, the but guitars don't need any eq obviously <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, a lot of this, and like, you'll see if you're looking at the screen that like a lot of what I'm doing is organization. I'm color coding. I'm moving things around, you know, what comes in first, because you know, visually, if I can see where I'm at and I don't oh, get yeah, yeah, lost, yeah. that's yeah. such a big thing oh, of course. in the mixing process is actually like organization and, yeah. um, just organization really. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like how your vocals are all pink. Yeah, that's very right. nice. That's right. All right. <laughs> so, um, and these drums should be dialed in. Now. Those are nice sounding drums. Sounds a little empty. That's all right. Okay. Okay, yo. There we delay guitar to pop a little bit yeah. more. So. so rather than using volume, I'm actually going to just boost the high end yeah. of it a little bit so it sticks out some of the other guitars. But you'll notice here on my guitar bus, I've actually already got, it, got a lot going on over here, but I'm just kind of grabbing this little guy separately to give him his own little space. I'm also going to pan him a little bit too. And I have this thing for higher things on the right. I don't know what it is. I do too. I don't know. Wait, yeah. it's high. I want it to be to the right. I think it's because I'm right-handed. I so, think so too. So I, I tend to be uh, more focused on my right ear. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Love it. Cool. Uh, I'll get to the vocals in just a moment. Almost there. Right now I'm just focusing in on parts, so it's like as I'm working on certain things, I'm only honing in on that one thing, so some stuff might sound a mess while I'm focusing. So right now yeah. I'm going to focus on this part. That'll be my focus. Now, because it's high, I want it on the right, right. but the other one's on the right, so I'm going to throw it on the left. Can you, can you turn the uh, click off? Yes. This one, I want more verb on it. I've got verb on my bus, which is controlling all the guitars, but this yeah. one I want a little bit, a little bit more. Bass guitar sounds really nice. You know, it's yeah. like I took the bass amp and they've got this warm preset and yeah. I just dialed so back can... the gain a little bit. But yeah, it's nice because that... it's got compression in it too, yeah. so you can really, and EQ, so you can do everything within one plugin yeah. without having to go crazy with, yeah. you know, all your plugins. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's getting really close at it's this point. It's getting close, cool, yeah. I'm... Now we gotta get to those vocals. Get it. Oh, oh. There Woo. we go, all right. <laughs> Normally, I would go in and actually hand tune with Melodyne just because I'm not that my vocal needs it because I'm perfect. Oh. But, <laughs> uh, but for the purposes of this, we're just gonna kind of let it let it live a little organic. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, tell me what you're waiting for. Did I already compress on this? No. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this compressor and I'm gonna go for the PLB compressor one. Let's listen. Kind of like an LA two way. I got one of those. Tell me 
what you waiting? I think I'm gonna do them both actually. Let's get a little cereal compression going on. Okay. PLB one, PLB two. That's why I got them both. Oh, oh, tell me what you waiting for. Oh, oh. I don't want either of them working too hard though. You know we, what I mean? We do not like compression. Tell me what you waiting for. Oh, oh, come there we go. On, let's go. Oh, oh, that one's working way too hard. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. You know, you know what would be really cool is to grab that, come on, let's go. And throw it to the end. I think so. Was yeah. I in your head there for a second? <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Oh, oh, cool. So let's get it nice and balanced here. Oh, oh. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab everything as a whole and kind of turn it down a little bit. Oh, oh. That's another thing I love about Logic is how you can select everything like oh, yeah. that. You can't do that in a lot of DAWs. It's... Oh, oh, tell me what you through a bus is that a vocal bus yep that's okay, a vocal cool. bus so that's got everything so i'm doing all my processing on yeah. that one vocal yeah let's get some bus. space on that one too yeah for sure oh you know what i'm like why don't i hear anything it's because it's got i don't have these plugins uh or do i am i is my iLock plugged in no let me grab some other uh logic stock Yeah, so the nice thing about Oh, oh tell me what you waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Sorry, we just One thing one of the things I like about reverb is you don't need a lot of it, but once you put it on, it just it just gives it so much space and depth, mm -hmm. you know. And you're just using uh, presets, right? Yep. I love it. So easy. Easy peasy. Walk plate. Oh, oh, tell me what you oh, swimming in the He's reverb, right? Swimming. <laughs> oh, oh, tell me what you waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, tell me what you waiting for. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. I can probably dial that off just a little bit. Oh, oh, tell me what you waiting for. And then I'm gonna fly that across here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh huh. And then again. Tell me what you waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. Oh oh, tell me what you waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. Oh oh, tell me what you waiting for. Oh oh, come on, let's go. We had a lot more time here, and we're, and we're, you know, obviously we're taking some time to, to get it right, but if, you know, and, and, and have this be a viewable video, um, but, but, you know, if, if we were taking more time, I would actually even put like some other counter harmonies in there too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Especially, especially in the second, second time Like around. I'd stack the uh ohs and yeah. do some woes and stuff. Oh, oh, come on, let's go. Um, no, no, it's for the... Come on, you should just do the come on, let's go. Cool. Um, maybe we could, again, mm. if we had more time, uh, mm -hmm. I would love to change that drum fill at the end. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just not a fan of that particular one. But it's okay for now. Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just kind of getting in the way now of the come on, let's go. Um, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. I would just... Come on, let's go. What do you think about yeah. that see, one? See, like, that's fine because it stays out of the way, but the other yeah. one's going, dung, 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 kind of dung, 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 dung. Yeah. Let's get so. there. All right, cool. I'm gonna listen down from the top. Okay. And just tweak as I go, but we'll. We uh, may be. We may be we, done. We might be done. All right. Let me know if you hear anything poking out. That guitar could probably um, be in a different spot. Like it almost be cool if that. Is on that side because I feel like the bucket duka bucket duka bucket is on here. So the, so the piano on there too? No, no, no. The piano is nice where it's at, oh. but but the um, the um, 
the lick. It would be nice if it was over on the left side. Oh, it is. Oh, it is? Maybe move it a little bit more. More? Okay. Yeah. More. That's yeah, better. It was kind of like yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Because that main thing there, and, the, yeah. and the piano being being on the high end is good too. Yeah. I may have to. I may just have to add a, add that part again because I don't know if that will work with that progression. Try it. Which one? The, the, the bop, drive bop, through. Bada, bop, bop. No, no. I think we just keep bump, bump, bada, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bump, bump, right? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And just keep that and fly that. That should fly, fly. Oh, oh. You know what? Let me do that one quick. Oh, he wants it. I know. Give it to I know. him. Awesome. So we're going to grab that drive through speaker guitar right at the end here. Yes. Okay. I've got this on. What's missing if we don't have oh, that coming through? I don't oh, know. I turned this. There we go. There we are. Yeah, and that should yeah. be it. Ba, 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 da. Yeah. You just stay on that. Yeah, right? until I think it goes to that B, then until I have to go I... to that F sharp. So yeah, I think we're good. Perfect. A couple of little mistakes in there, but it's fine. So I think as a whole, we are pretty much done with this. A couple yeah. little edits, a little bit more tweaking on the uh, on the mix, and uh, we can pretty much call this one done. But ultimately, as a whole, uh, really the goal today was was not to impress you with our, our abilities, you know, to be able to run this stuff, but really to impress upon you the really the creative freedom that you get that you have as artists and musicians to be able to come in and turn on your computer and open up a really a relatively cheap software program and access all the tools within it. Yeah, a couple little extra pieces that we need to buy, a microphone, whatever your main instrument is going to be. Um, and, you know, you then at that point have the freedom to write all the music in the world that you want to write. You can write the music that you're passionate about writing and you can have extremely professional sounding results that, you know, maybe with another 15 minutes and of editing and, and some, well, some, tweaks. some tweaks, this is going to be ready to go. It's going to be ready to get out into the world. And who knows, you might hear it on a, on a Cheerios commercial, <laughs> uh, you know, in the next six months, who knows? Uh, but this is ultimately the, um, the power in being able to, run your own home studio system and they're you know 
Right. It's, it's, right. It's, it's, a very, it's a very small investment of time and money. Well, and as you know, especially in film and TV, how often have you had someone say, hey, I love that thing you just turned in, but can you make this quick edit? I need oh, it yeah. yesterday. And it's almost <laughs> like they need it like so yeah. soon. Having yeah. the power to be able to do that yourself and not have to go, well, shoot, my producer's out of town. Can I get yeah. it to you next week? Because it don't work that way yeah. in that world, right? Exactly. So exactly freedom. So make sure you check out Chris and Produce Like a Boss. And if, if you want to learn logic and, and, and learn how to, how to do this yourself, she's I'll the one to... You. To, to teach you because uh, she knows what she's doing and as you can see it's just a lot of fun all so right so much fun we'll Thanks, see you a little guys. later see ya